there is one fellow I don't have to introduce because everybody in the world not only has a deep affection for him, but they all instantly recognize the greatest champion we ever had in the American or the world prize ring, Jack Dempsey. great thrill to have you on our stage because, as you know, from the time I started writing sports, you were so darn nice to me. The first time I ever had ate grapefruit in a bowl of ice, I went up to interview him at the Hotel Alamac. We'd never seen grapefruit served that way in Porchester, and I had to watch him to see what he was doing, and then I followed, uh, followed his example. Jack, I wanted to ask you, and I know the people through the country would be interested in this, uh, in view of the easy triumph of Johannesson over Patterson in their last fight, would you say, as the former champion of the world, that Patterson has a chance in this fight? Well, Eddie, you always have a chance in anything you do, especially the fight game. I say the last fight that Patterson wasn't himself, but at the same time, you can't underestimate the other fellow. Joe Hanson's a great champion, but you've got to give him a, the other fellow some kind of a chance. Mm -hmm. Who would you pick at the moment? Well, at the present time, I would say Joe Hanson once more, but after all, before I try to pick a winner, I would like to see him in the respective workouts to see how they look. But still, right now, I've got to say Joe Hanson. You know, I got such a kick out of your book that was written by Bob Considine and Bill Slocum. I read it the other night. And here's the whole story of one of the most exciting careers that any American youngster ever uh, embarked upon. I was very struck, Jack. You said in the book that at the time when you first came to New York, of course, then you were about 20 or 21, weren't you? That's right, 21 years old. And your manager wanted to match you with against the great Sam, Sam Langford. Langford. And you say in the book that you didn't take the match because you felt that Langford would have knocked you out. That's right. In my opinion now, is the same as ever. I think Langford was one of the greatest fighters we ever had, Ed. And if I'd have fought him, I probably would have gotten knocked out. And I'm glad I never had the opportunity to. <clears throat> well, I would have loved to have seen you later on, when you were at the peak of your career. Langford, was the, he was the great right-hand puncher. Dempsey, of course, was the great left hooker. I'd like to see you go with him. I'd, I'd have to have some bob down, a few bob down on you. Jack, so darn nice to have you here. I'm going to tell the audience and all through the country uh, that this book by Bob Considine, Bill Slocum, on Dempsey was the perfect wedding of a great champion and two great writers. And I'm going to tell them all to read it and enjoy it. I know they'll enjoy it just as much as I did. Thank you very much. Give our sir. love home. Certainly well. So nice to see you again. Nice to see you looking so well, Jack. Thank you, Ed, and keep well. Thank you. Now let's hear it for...